So our new world right now is in a pretty bad state. It's to a point many people are on the verge of just giving up. And after the recent drop in players with over half a day one players not playing anymore, it seems as though this may be heading in the wrong direction. Over the past few weeks, but mainly since the latest patch, players are becoming more and more frustrated with Amazon and the way in which they are seemingly ruining this game. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and to give back to you guys, I'm giving away 10,000 marks of fortunes. To be in with a chance of winning them, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Winners will be picked from my comments section, so the more videos you support me on, the more of a chance you have of winning and good luck. Now what I just want to say, being a gamer, I actually like New World. It's one of the better games I've played over the past few years, and it for a short while had me addicted. But over the past few weeks or so, I've kind of lost that excitement for it. This isn't because I'm now a level 60, uh, before anyone says it, as I know some people will, as I still have a long, long way off before I reach that pinnacle gear score watermark on literally every piece of gear I have. And well, I like the grind. Well, I used to like the grind, but as of late, the game, in my opinion, has kind of fell lost. I guess it started with the duping exploits that have been apparent in game for a long while now, and a lot of people were covering them up. But when one gets fixed, another is found and abused. And although this, for the most part, wouldn't normally affect a player like myself or you guys, unless you use said exploit. But in New World, Amazon disables all forms of wealth transfer, meaning you can't buy, sell, trade, etc, etc, which is a massive, massive part of the end game within New World. So when trading posts get disabled, the game literally gets cut in half. And this is happening quite often now it seems, and I don't feel we've seen the last of it. Now moving on from these, we recently had the 1.1 November patch, the massive update, and while the patch notes for the most part were all good and dandy. Yeah, for sure there was a few iffy mentions, but for the most part it looked good. It was the hidden changes they incorporated without telling the community, which has pissed many many players off. Reddit right now is an abomination of people complaining about the game post patch. Their Twitter feeds and every post is more or less exactly the same. People are complaining about this game post patch. And to be honest I thought it was just me. Playing the game after the patch actually feels like it's taken one step forward and five steps backwards. Even with the addition of the Void Gauntlet which I like, this is probably the one step forward. I actually can't bring myself to play for longer than 20 minutes to even enjoy it because of how well, lost the game feels. And it's these changes they didn't tell anyone about which kind of show you their stance on the game, what they want for it and their mentality on it when it comes to looking after their player base. They have made the grind in many cases even worse. They have nerfed all elite chests and poor runs. They have buffed enemy health dependent on players in said area. They have made the merc guard run a useless pool of mess. They have changed things which didn't need changing. Things like luck downgrading on certain items or even being removed in many instances. Downgrading weapon rarities, over nerfing certain weapons, nerfing farms, making certain materials even harder to come by, being lazy with simple programming and clearly not testing any of the above. I mean, do they test this game before they release it to the public? They must have an in-department team of testers, surely. I won't lie to you, I've experienced more bugs since the latest update in what tops 3 hours game time than I have in my entire playthrough leading up to this patch. The game's are laggier than it's ever been, connections seem bust, getting kicked is a constant for many many players, and as a whole it just doesn't feel fun at the moment. And with them nerfing many farming hotspots so that end game player suffers while the casuals have it handed to them isn't how a game like this should be run. New World is one of the grindiest MMOs I've ever played and that was prior to the November update. Now it's even worse in many instances. What they're doing is turning a game into a chore, more so than it is fun, which is a big no-no. It's like they are intentionally trying to make the content they have right now last even longer, just without telling people about it, and more so to a point so players don't steam through the content. But those kind of players will steam through anything, and will do no doubt whatever you do to the game. Some will even support the changes they have made, which is fine I guess, but I can guarantee you for the most part, people are unhappy with the direction the game seems to be going in. I will say this, as I always talk the truth, 
I know many other content creators don't and will just suck up all the BS and sugarcoat it, but you won't get that from me guys, rest assured. But yes, at the moment, New World for many, many players isn't in a great spot. And while they're still out there bringing the servers down for maintenance, furthermore changing things up, I hope they see and realise how many folks are unhappy with the fact they're seemingly ruining their game. I mean, I've been gaming now, posting videos for what, 14 years? I've played and covered many, many games. And I've seen this kind of thing happen with so many games. It is unreal. I mean, I don't want New World to fail. I like the game. I actually love the game. I enjoyed playing it post-patch. But the unnecessary changes they did without telling anybody. I mean, in my opinion, they probably need to be reverted. I mean, the changes from the patch notes are completely fine. I mean, I ain't bothered about the fire staff, even though it's my go-to. Being nerfed, it doesn't really bother me that much. I like to change my weapons about it anyway. I like to create new builds here and there. But the changes they made without telling anybody, I mean... That's just not how you run a game like this, especially with a community this big. I mean, we like surprises, but not surprises like this. I mean, playing it now since the latest November patch, the bugs and bugs, like I said, are just even more apparent. Here's me farming a herb within Eben's scale, and seemingly out of nowhere, there is an invisible pool. As you see here, I walk into this bush, and I'm literally drowned and I'm losing air. This is just absolutely crazy. I mean, I don't know what's going down, people. It's just utterly nuts. And this is just one instance of many I've experienced. But yeah, guys, just a quick rant video. I mean, it's gone on a little longer than I wanted it to. But I just feel it's something that had to be made. Now, I know a lot of players won't even be aware of a lot of the things that have changed. Besides what they mentioned in the patch notes. But I can guarantee you guys, everything which I've mentioned today has happened. If you don't believe me, jump on Twitter, jump on Reddit, jump on Facebook. Take a look at the community as a whole. And it seems as though, for the most part, many many players are unhappy but let me know your thoughts on this and the game since the latest patch do you agree with the changes they did without telling anybody let me know your thoughts on that too but yeah guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one